YouTube people, I am sorry about this bra. Uh, it uh, it got stained green when I had green hair. So yeah. Oh, I just noticed this is here from my last video that I recorded. Let me move it. That's better. It's gone. So. This is a story time, as you can read from the title of the worst date of my entire life. I cannot express how awful it was. Oh my god, what was his name? I don't remember his name. Oh yeah, I remember his name now, right, okay. I know not to use that name now. So I'm sorry man, if this is you, you know it was not your best moment because of how this ended. Like, wow. Let's have a sip. So, <laughs> what am I even going to call this series? Oh my god, it's, it's from Tinder. I know everyone has Tinder Terrors. Maybe I should do Tinder Terror Tuesdays. That'd be cool. Okay. So this is a Tinder Terrors about the worst date and I have a bit of background. Okay, this is number one, my first ever Tinder Terrors video. I've been on and off Tinder for like just over two and a half years now. I've been single just over three and a half years-ish, yeah, yeah, about that. I joined Tinder about a year after I became single from my last relationship. So this was the Christmas just gone. This was December 2017, so it wasn't that long ago. So, yeah, this is my worst day by far on any day in sight. I've only ever joined two, maybe three, I don't know. I lose track. So, chatting to this guy, um, what should we call him? Should we just call him X? I'll call him X. Okay, so X was on Tinder, we matched, we started chatting pretty quickly. He was like, hey, let's meet for a coffee. And I don't know what day it was, but uh, I was like, oh, um, what about tomorrow or Tuesday or whatever it was. I don't know what day we built. But I remember it's Christmas time. It was before Christmas, though. So, and like, in his photos, he was like not my usual type. Um, he was, yeah, he was from India. Yeah, I knew that. Um, he was, ooh. I was 25 at the time. I think he was a year or two older than me. So he was 26 or 27. And X had... Well, I didn't know this till I met him, but he'd only been in the country about a month. But he'd been, like, travelling. He'd not just lived in India, he'd been in America and maybe some other place. I don't remember that well. So I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, we'll meet. So we meet for coffee and he's like... I think, I think it actually was my day off work. So it could have been a Tuesday or Thursday, it could have been or Tuesday, it could be Wednesday, I don't know, it could have been any day. So I think we met at like 6.30. Like, and I'm like, what's even gonna be up? Matt well, you know, I'll go with the flow whatever. So we met up and uh, Starbucks was closing, Cafe Nero was closing. We met outside the cathedral in Sheffield, if anyone knows. So like public area. And then we ended up going to Cafe Rouge. Okay. This is where it starts. I didn't like find this off putting, I just found it odd that you mentioned it. So we started walking and like I was Oh my god, was it Christmas just gone? Yeah. So I was like a good stone and a half heavier than I am now. So I was I'm a slow fit now, but I was even more on foot then. I, I, it was a struggle. So we were like walking up Fargate and it's like got a slight increase in elevation. Like for a normal I said normal. For a, like a not overweight person, it would not be a struggle. But for me, at how I have a mini stone at that point, I was overweight. Um, I was like, and he was wanting to talk while we walked. Like, does he not know fat girls? Man, he said he liked a curvy girl. I'm like, cool, whatever. Um, I'm obviously more than curvy. <laughs> so we're walking up and we're talking. I remember him saying oh, uh, you look so much better in real life. And at the time, I was having issues with eczema around my eyes. So I had eyelashes on. I did my brows. And I wore a lipstick. 
that was it because my eyes it hurt and it was uncomfy and it looked stupid to put makeup on top like I couldn't I don't know I don't know I don't have the skills I don't know what other people do to cover up eczema but it was thick like to the naked eye because I wear glasses as well it kind of distracts so it's not as obvious so in person people wouldn't notice and I won't wear makeup but I don't wear makeup day to day but for dates I do more than this usually I would usually wear more than this uh, but because of my eczema I was like not risking it, not for some guy who I don't know. I like barely spoke to online, and um, yeah, whatever. So it says as we're walking up, and I'm like starting to pant because I'm a bit out of breath. Like, it's not unusual for me to pant walking up a slight hill. Uh, we went a hill, it was like increased in elevation, I don't know what to call it. And he mentions it, he's like, You're panting. I was like, yeah now and we continued walking and like I just found that very odd I don't know why I just wouldn't mention to someone while we're walking up a who was obviously obese who why would you mention that that's so strange to me I don't know maybe it's not to other people but to me I thought it was strange anyway we've got a cafe rouge it's a little piece guard it's not far like I would I'm far I would not struggle with that now but I, would, I was quite far at that point and a stone and a half is a lot on a small petite person like I'm five foot three and a half like it's a lot of weight and bear in mind I'd lost about a stone and a half at this point so yes so yeah we get cafe rouge we get a drink we're chatting it seems fine pretty normal I would talk to him about his life family things like that Anyway, we'll go for a walk because we don't want the day to end. Okay, this is where the next weird bit comes. So walk around the mall, if you don't know Sheffield, the mall. And we walk up uh, where the light is. We're walking there, like where Debenhams is at the back bit. And he just randomly says to me, very much, it's not like long into the day. Um, he says to me, I want to kiss you right now. And I was like, already? I didn't say that. I was like, I just like laughed nervously and like changed the conversation. I was like, no. Oh. Anyway, I'm like sick of walking because it's cold. Cold. It's December. It's freezing cold. So I'm like, let's go to Weather Spoons. Let's go to Spoons. I love Spoons. Spoons is sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Spoons is sweet. It's great. It's open late, like it was cold. Everywhere I shut, there was a coffee shop. So we walked to Spoons. Did we go to? Yeah, we went to the Benjamin Huntsman across from uh, John Lewis. If anyone knows it, the Sheffield. Uh, and he says to me, "This is the first time I've ever been into a pub." Yes, he was definitely twenty at this time. He was twenty. He was two years older than me. No, three years older than me. Yeah, three years older than me. And I was like taken aback. I was like, oh, really? But you know, uh, you know, he'd grown up mostly in India, but he'd been to America and all over the place. And I'm like, how have you not been into a pub? It did shock me a little bit. So I tried more, he asked me about my day in life, blah, blah, blah. And so I asked him about his. This is where the red flags come up even more like there were two things were just like a bit weird a bit odd but this was like red flag red flag so he tells me that he's never had a girlfriend fair news that happens sometimes but he says that basically the reason why is that he has been pining for a lady in India for 10 years so he's only recently been looking. Like I think he was like 16, 17 when he met her. He saw her in the temple. Uh, I think that's what he said, a temple. Uh, and he said to his friend, I'm going to marry that girl. At 60 years old, just across the church, temple, whatever you want to call it. Correct me if I'm wrong. And he went, I remember he went over to speak to her and she was like, why are you speaking to me? Um, and then like basically she blanked him. He had mutual friends and stuff. He asked things about her. Uh, he basically stopped her online. Tried to talk to her multiple, multiple times every now and then. And um, she was like, not interested, don't talk to me. 
So he panned to her for 10 years with someone who blatantly didn't like him, blatantly weren't interested, blatantly did not find any... Because he was, he was, he was, he was harassing her slightly. I mean, I don't know how many times he messaged her. It doesn't seem that many. He said he was very shy. Um, but I mean, from the first moment that she was like, nah, mate, bye. He should have been like, alright, cool. Like, this is not my future wife. Um, but no, he continued pining for, for 10 years. And he finally gave up when he found all her on Facebook. They weren't friends by what I could tell. And she was married, and that's when he gave up and realised he shouldn't have wasted 10 years of his life pining after a girl who didn't even like him. I want to get to know him. Like, I don't know what this girl's deal was. Maybe she heard so. I don't know. She chose not to get to know him. Even as a friend. So I was like, the big red flag. I was like, oh wow. Uh, anyway, we, could, we were chatting a bit more. I came to like 10 o'clock. He's like, oh, I'll walk you home. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's sweet. Thanks. That's nice. So we walked around to my flat. Like, I, uh, yeah, I live in the city centre somewhere, which I'm not going to disclose because I don't want to be murdered. Uh, you never know. So, yeah, we get to my like entrance. It's like, well, we get to the door. I don't want to give too much away where I live. Um, and he's like, talked to me like, um, about we should meet up on Friday. It must have been Wednesday or Tuesday, yeah. I was like, yeah, cool, that'd be cool. I'll, uh, I'll message her. He was like, yeah. And then he goes in for a kiss. And I was like, <laughs> maybe next time. I'm not ready for that right now, or something along those lines. And he was like, oh, okay, he looked like shocked. Um, yeah, I weren't like showing him 100% so I don't want to kiss him and then like, it'd be weird. And I'd be like, bitch, no, you know what I mean? Like, I weren't sure. And obviously, I feel like it's better to like, unless you're like, you're really feeling it, you should kiss someone. Do you know what I mean? And like, there was just something off and on reflection, the red flag was the put off and they were two weird unusual things. Um so I'm like nah. Nah. And he's, he's like looks really confused and shocked. And I was like, right. I'm like, why did you think it weren't that good of a day? Like it weren't that good. Um he, he didn't sweep me off her feet. I didn't like I went like, oh my god, I really like him. I really wanted him, you know what I mean? I thought it was cool. I thought I'd like to get to know him more. Until he then goes in for a second kiss and he holds my waist, so I'm like pushing him away, putting everything back, like no. And like, I have to like push him with some force, um, and uh, he looks really upset and shocked and confused. And I'm like, I already, I was like, oh, no, 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 like maybe next time I'll, uh, I'll text you, I'll see you Friday. And I watch him and wait until he leave. That's like, that's psycho shit, like. Not psycho shit. I know. And I watched him waiting through because that's... <sighs> one inside. That's not good. That's... If, if someone rejects you on the first kiss attempt, you don't go in straight after for a second one because... No. They obviously don't know how they feel about you. I want to get to know you more before they kiss you. So, like, don't go in for a second kiss. Or they just don't like you. Which I wasn't sure, but now I didn't like him. And I was saying that because I thought he's going to kill me. He now knows where I live. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh. So I watched the waiting for him to leave. And I went in my door. And closed it. I went in. And I never messaged him again. He never messaged me. He obviously got the hint. I mean, I would have messaged him after the first one. But because of the second one, I was like, fuck no. Well, I probably wouldn't have messaged him on reflection of the other strange things he said. But no! No! Yes, that was my worst date on Tinder. Any day it's like, my worst date ever. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that's my worst date ever. Worst date ever. I can't believe it. I was just like, and I hadn't had a date in a long time. Since like March. 2017 so I hadn't been dating because I'd just been put off uh like I had a, I had a long break so I just like we're ready and after that day I didn't go on another date for 
We've both been on dates for this year. I think I've had two dates this year. Huh? Yeah, so my next date went till uh, early April, late March this year. Yeah, something like that. Um, yeah. No. <gasps> yeah, so if someone rejects your kiss, just don't go in for a second kiss. And either they don't like you or they're just not sure I want to get to know you more. You don't know. Unless you like ask or yeah, they tell you. So that is my first Tinder story time. And I definitely have many more. Like even ones who I haven't met. Wow. So if you like this absolute shit show, like this video, subscribe, give me any comments, suggest any other videos you'd like. Um, hello YouTube people, I am sorry about this bra. Uh, it, uh, it got stained green when I had green hair. So yeah. Oh, I just noticed this is here from my last video. I recorded. Oh, if you just like this, this series. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!